Hello, you guys. All right, I'm at the third and final showing. This is the home on 29th in Logan Heights. I would say that this is by far the most transitional um, of the homes that I've looked at for you guys. But that being said, this property would probably be a little bit of a different investment. This property, I think, would um, you would be buying this property hoping and banking on that appreciation. Um, I would say that this area, out of all the properties we've seen, if for like hardcore investors, this would be probably the most attractive property just because of the potential for appreciation, its proximity to downtown, um, and just with how much is going on. Like this is a relatively new build over here and there's a huge park and um, other community type uh, features and you know, um, like a really nice community park is gonna go in beyond the school. But this home is catty corner to Memorial Prep. So this is a really big school here. You can kind of look this up on a map so you can get a better understanding. I encourage you guys to do like a Google map view of this area because it is definitely transitional. Um, and it's a little bit of a bummer that you guys were not able to get a chance to drive around Logan Heights when you were here because I'd be curious what your thoughts are on it. So I'm just gonna kind of take a moment to just walk a little bit so you can kind of get a feel for the neighborhood. This house next door is really large. Um, and then, so in addition to Memorial Prep, you also have Boys and Girls Club of San Diego, like a baseball field. So this area will probably be very children heavy. Your driveway is in off the street. There's your gate right there. Um, and I'm gonna check out the home so that you guys can see and get a good feel for the property itself. So in terms of like build out potential, this one would be really tough. There's not a lot of opportunity within the home. There's no garage on this property. So again, this is kind of like a different type of investment. Really cute front porch, super awesome Victorian feel. When you walk into this home, I mean, it's pretty next level. I love that he was able to keep some of the characteristics. Um, and I'm actually gonna lock this door behind me. So this is a neighborhood where it is a bit more transitional. Um, I love that he kept some of the characteristics, like these pocket doors. This is badass for this, because um, this house is so old. So really cool features that he was able to keep um, within this home. This is the first bedroom. So really nice. I love the windows. They do look out into the school parking lot, so not an ideal view, but really nice. Tons of natural light. There are a lot of beautiful new windows in this living space as well. You can see that this is a really generous and beautiful living space. He did a nice job kind of remodeling the kitchen and incorporating the space. This is another one of the bedrooms. This is one of the ones with an ensuite. So I'll stand in the middle. This is actually out this window. You're looking into your driveway slash lot. This is pretty much all she wrote. So I'm going to head out there in a second. Um, second bedroom, you can see nice little bathroom. I mean, he did reasonable finishes but they're pretty basic i would say they're pretty fitting for this neighborhood um logan heights is still a bit transitional but again a lot of the people who purchase in this area are investors who are buying rentals or um you know homes as buy and hold because this area is projected to continue to appreciate very rapidly based on its proximity to downtown and kind of all that's happening here so i'm in the kitchen right now Again, you know, he did pretty basic finishes, nothing too extreme. Simple white cabinets. Um, I would say that's pretty fitting for this price point in this neighborhood because this is pretty much the bottom of the line. This is as cheap as it's going to get in this neighborhood, um, pretty much. And then another little bathroom. And then, and that's the half bath. So this is kind of the one that your guests would use. Again, same finishes as the other bathroom. And then here, here is a washer dryer hookup. I don't know if that's the optimal space for a washer dryer because it's kind of a tiny corner and you'd be passing it on the way to this bedroom. So I'm not sure if that's optimal, but here's the third bedroom. And the floor does dip a little bit in this room. I would definitely want to um, check on foundation potentially a little bit. And then here's the ensuite and the master. Same finishes again. Newer windows, the tile flooring. Pretty basic and um, we'll head out this side door so this is the door just to give you relation to where we are uh, front door I came in walked through the living room 
I'm not actually loving the flooring that he put in here. I feel like this looks like vinyl, which is a little bit of a cheaper option. Um, but it could be laminate. It just looks vinyl-y to me with the way that the light is reflecting off of it. Um, and then I'm going to head to the backyard. So this is the side door. I am going to paint the camera over the neighbor so you can kind of see. The investor did a really nice job building this brand new fence. Um, that's why. And then, um, <laughs> trying to trying to be sneaky. And then I'm standing kind of in the middle of your courtyard, I guess I could say. Um, you've got a really pretty citrus tree over here, some cacti. Um, this. I don't know, detached garagey thingy is more like a shed. I'm gonna show you guys the interior. It would, I mean, realistically, you'd probably need to tear that down and start fresh. Um, I don't think it's realistic to think that you can potentially convert this space and it's also really small and kind of has shed vibes. I don't know, it's very shed feeling in here. Um, tiny, I don't really know what this was used for, probably just storage. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty old house. I was like, thinking to myself that it reminds me of maid quarters, but I don't think that's what it is. Um, so that's pretty much this property, you guys. Let me know, I'm gonna go back this way because I locked the front door. Let me know your thoughts. I'm excited to connect with you on a phone call and uh, I will get these files to you soon. Talk to you guys soon.